this morning by Hannah. So we have to do my pink today. Blonde. This is the shirt that I always wear to dye clothes in. We were actually bullied into receiving that shirt. Yeah, we didn't want it. Oh my god. We did this thing. <gasps> Welcome, Rachel. To help. Phoebe's grandma wanted everyone to go to this like walk for a cure thing. It was a glow. What was it for? Glow, glow run. run. It just says glow run. Glow run for someone. Dallas, Oregon. Scary place. To it be. was for something. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. And she like really wanted us to go. And so we she like, signed us all up. I don't want to go, but we'll go. She signed us all up, and we were. They were like, "What size shirts?" And we were like, "Oh, we don't really want any shirts. We won't wear them." And they were like, "No, you have to have a shirt." Anyway, Graham didn't do that. Graham would never be like, "No, no you have to have a shirt." Graham didn't do that. I, the person in charge. I no. to the girly was like, "Oh, we don't need shirts. That's okay. Same we for were like people. Yeah, that's wasteful. We won't use them that much. That's okay." And she was like, "No, no, you gotta have a shirt." And I was like, "No, no, 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 no." It was a whole thing. Yeah. It was pretty funny. <gasps> welcome. So, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here, friend. Anyway, so now it's what I wear to dye my hair in. Yeah. Well, it's a good dye your hair shirt. I have this one, and then I had a, and it gets better one for a long time, but it was white, and oh so my it was God. very pink on the back. The it gets better one is so funny. They made a so shirt. I got rid of it. They made a shirt that just said hashtag always trending. Yeah. Who designed that? Who, whomst and why? Whomston for what reason? Oh my god, hi Kyle. It was a lot. I feel like hashtag gently embarrassing. And I we love them. Like they're lovely yeah. to work with. They're great folks. So funny. Oh it my was god, so hi. funny. Welcome. Thanks for being here. It was like almost like like so millennial that it was funny. Yes. You know what I mean? I was, I was like, like, is it on purpose or uh, is it? Yeah. Do they think it's trendy or are they joking? Because it's obviously not trendy. It's giving 90% age old, 10% devil. With, like, Bobby Jack being, like... Yeah. Yeehaw. We're talking about it, so it Thanks is trending. Miranda. You're right. I You're guess. literally right. Anyway, I got to see Hannah this morning. Yeah. I got to see Hannah. Hannah. I got to see Hannah this morning. I got to go to her house, which I love. It's just so nice. It's so clean. I love to go to Hannah's house. I know. Sorry you have to be here now with your husband who makes smells. Yeah. You poor thing. And then while my hair... So she has me over... She dyes my hair. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, we thank you. She bleaches my hair, I guess I should say. And then while it's processing, she's like, are you hungry? And she made me lunch. She is just a little, she's the world's housewife. Yeah, and I said, thanks. This is a full service salon, I guess. So, anyway, now I have strawberry shortcake hair. Phoebe's yelling. Hope they don't need anything. Um, what are y'all doing? I haven't seen you since Wednesday. It's so long. It's practically years. Almost. So God. Everyone's being so sweet. Stop it, you guys. Um, we were gonna maybe play Stardew today, but instead we're dyeing my hair pink. So we're big on these like two for one streams where we like get something done we've been meaning to do, but also gonna hang out with our friends. I was gonna say the other thing I was gonna suggest was to we have like. Four loads of laundry that need to be folded. That's true. Um, so maybe I'll do that tomorrow. Can you be in the middle? Yeah. Take my spot. This is nice. I don't have to do anything. The other thing that's hard about this is Phoebe has to practice being really nice because I'm incredibly tender-headed, and so I make a lot of faces, and then they are like, why are you making faces? And I'm like, it's not you. It's just my head. It's just how my head is. It is better with your hair being this short. Is your hair wet still? Probably a little bit on the bottom. I can't tell if it's wet or if it's just cold. Oh, it's probably wet. It's like a little productive stream. What are you making for supper? We use Iro Iro. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, so people are always like, how does your hair stay so pink? And I'm always like, oh, it's this dye. And it has bad reviews from people being like, this will never wash out of your hair. And we were like, and we yeah. were like, that's what I want. Perfect. So if you plan on being pink and then never picking another color, it's great, which is what I plan on doing. Um, but if you're like the kind of person who likes to change it a lot, then it's not ideal. Don't buy it. No. <coughs> or if you don't mind planning your hair colors over like what I'm gonna have to use to cover up. Yeah. Seven texted you. Oh no, is it stressful? Maybe. Let me see. Maybe you got fired. Oh my god, do you think Seven fired seven me? Seven fired you. It did. Damn. It did fire me. Just kidding. It's pictures of Mira. Oh. The sweetest baby. Okay. 
we don't know what we're gonna have for dinner. We were actually just talking about it before stream started. Hold this one because I had I'll hold an it here so I can get to okay. it. Thank you. I had an impossible uh, burger. A uh, burger. I remember the word for hey, lunch. I think maybe your hair's too small for this. It is. I thought it was interesting that you were doing that. Oh well, where's your hair ties? They're in the bathroom. Oh my. In so the good. drawer. Oh my, so good. Chicken kebab. Oh, here's one. I think I just need one probably. All right. Here's, Here's, broke up. The or reason that Phoebe has to do my hair instead of me is that what I want to do is just squirt the whole thing on top of my head and go like this. You could try that. You just put your finger in your eye, my eyeball. Did you not feel that? No. Was it wet? It must have been. Chicken kebab. Oreo McFlurry. It's a pretty good dinner. Baked cheese ravioli. The problem is we just had vegetable hash. <laughs> Thank you. On Monday. Is your hair so short? On Tuesday, we had leftovers of that. Deeply chaotic. Um, yesterday, we bought fun dinner. Now, you and Phoebe's vegetarian, so you may be thinking, what about some sort of pasta? Phoebe hates pasta. No, no, no. Oh, we could make the, um, the sweet potato pasta today if you wanted. Is that enough for everyone? Yeah. But you hate pasta. Right. You're right. That's why I suggested it. I like to make myself miserable. No, but you never eat. You, Phoebe only eats pasta if they can also have vegetables. Yeah, I was going to make vegetables to go on top of it. We have so many leftover vegetables. Then we though. can just use the leftover vegetable hash. The energy you're giving me is so aggressive about dinner. You're giving me dinner aggression. It's because, like, yes. There, you guys, listen, You, Phoebe can say they don't hate pasta, but they do. Because other people will say, oh, let's have pasta. And what they mean is noodles with, like, sauce and maybe some sort of meat. And Phoebe loses their mind. Because what they actually want is a bunch of vegetables with a little bit of pasta on Tip top. Tip your little head down, girly pop. Now you don't get to talk to your friends because of I your do. rude attitude. <laughs> now you're in jail from our friends. You agree? Vegetables are awful. Vegetables are delicious. They are bad. People eat them because they're supposed to. No, veggies are good. Pasta, sweet, delicious. Sweet potatoes. Pasta is just a way to deliver sauce to my mouth. Butternut squash. Not a way Zucchini. to deliver sauce. Pasta is boring unless it's mac. I hate vegetables and I'm vegetarian. Speak your truth. Oh my god, I can't imagine how difficult that is and I'm so sorry for you. It's because they're not very good. Everyone share a little crime. My little crime is if allowed, I would eat pasta for absolutely every meal. Oh, I do have pesto, so I can have pasta with pesto. My little crime is I've done nothing to protect my wife's neck, and she has very short hair now. Yeah. I will not stand for this pasta slander. I am literally a ravioli. Do you like spaghetti squash, Peehee? Spaghetti squash? Yeah. No. I wish I did. I feel like cool, hot people like spaghetti squash. Hey, what are you doing? You know what? Just give me room. Thinking you can wiggle around? Build your own pasta bar. I guess really what I'll do... It's not a texture thing. It's because pasta, so they hate mac and cheese. Phoebe hates cheese. That's their that's their real crime. I have autism. You can't just say I have autism. Everyone loves cheese except for you. They hate cheese. So they hate mac and cheese. They don't really like pizza that much. They hate it. Head down, please. Oh no. Now the truth comes out. I'm autistic and I love cheese. No, I'm happy for you. Listen, the more the more autistic people that I know love cheese than hate it. I, that's it doesn't. So I didn't Phoebe's say it's wrong. an autistic trait to hate cheese. You did. I didn't say all autisms hate cheese. Pasta and cheese is a safe food, not for Phoebe. Vegetables are safe to them. Hey, tip up your head, please, no, my you love. Told me to put it down. No. Speak your truth. Okay. All autisms. I thought it would be funny to say that. Tip your head Clip down. it. It's an autistic trait to hate cheese. Please don't Coolsville sucks me right now. You guys are mean. Thank you, Myth. Vegetables are literally always different. I don't understand what they mean. Phoebe, how do I make vegetables a safe food? Please, I'm begging. Uh, I honestly just put a fuck ton of seasonings on them. If you... Bake them in the oven so that they all have a similar texture. I would also say start with, like, mostly potatoes. 
So potatoes take longer to cook than anything else, but they're obviously like already kind of a safe food. So make like potatoes in the oven, cut them very small pieces, and then also put in like zucchini or something else that's like really inoffensive and make the cuts like the slices like a little bit bigger than that so that they cook close to around the same amount of time. You wanna put them in the oven at 400 degrees for like, um, I don't know, between like 15 and 25 minutes. And you just wanna leave them in there until you can easily stick your fork into the zucchini as well as into the potato. So it's just kind of like squishy, but you have like seriously like so much fucking seasonings on that. I'm talking garlic powder. I'm talking smoked paprika. Put your salt on there. If you have Tony Saturies, it's really good. A little like Tony's Creole seasoning. Um, onion powder if you've got some. I've been doing thyme recently. <laughs> um, but I actually literally have a TikTok that I'm gonna post that's me just making vegetables, so. That's content you're interested in. It's on the books. Can you tilt your head away from me? Thank you so much. Thanks, Lisa the Little. Whoa. <laughs> hey, friends. Hey, friends. I love how that girly reads shit sometimes. I know. You can pick a different voice, but I like this one. She's creepy. I think she's nice. She's nice how creepy she is. Um, today, I hopefully started my period today. Everyone say woohoo because we're excited. Um, hopefully we'll see. You know, like if you have a uterus, maybe you get it, but like, you know how, um, sometimes it's like a false start, you know what I mean? So like, it may not be real, but (laughs) if it is, that'll be great. Um, but anyway, I can tell that I am emotional is what I was trying to say, because I listened to company on the way to Hannah's house this morning. And then I cried because I was like for my 35th birthday, which is the birthday that the main character is having in that show. I should make everyone dress up as characters from company. And then I was like, no, I'll be disappointed because what I actually want is all of my friends to be characters from company. And then we perform the show and that's my birthday. And then I was like, so I guess I just won't have a birthday party when I turn 35. Morgan's 28 if anyone's keeping up. 31st. Your 31st birthday. The uh, Raul, the 2006 version. I think his name's Raul S. I don't remember. I never remember his name. The one who's also on Law and Order. <laughs> the one where all the characters play instruments also is my favorite version. There is the um, Esparza. Esparza. 31st. My 35th birthday. Anyway, and then I got sad. The other thing is, I think I'm going to start a book club for musical theater. I've already said this with people that I know in real life um, in person. And then I was like, I can't wait to pick company. And then I was like, the problem is that what I actually want is to pick company. And we all listen to that version, the one with Neil Patrick Harris, and then the new one where a woman plays Bobby to see how it affects the story. And then this is a class that you're teaching. Yeah, and then I'll be so like, your head down, please. because like listening to Company today, Phoebe hates it. Tell your head away from me again. Thank you so much. And they hate it because they were like, this is just a man who hates all the women he's dating, and he hates all these married friends. Yeah, he and sucks. I was like, that's not it though. You don't get it. Being alive, being the last song, is about how even though he doesn't feel like he has anyone in his life who's truly in love. I'm like, they are in love, and he doesn't get it. He's saying, like, I hope I get it. And I can't wait to one day be so in love with someone that I get it. There's hope at the end of the show. But, oh, it's so good. Norm Lewis recorded Being Alive on um, Side by Side by Sotheim, or Sotheim by Sotheim, and it's, like, my favorite album of all time. Um, And he, it's the best version of it, and I cry every time he sings it. I used it as an audition song and I've never seen it. Listen, it is it is a little bit boring. Like, if you don't like company, I get it. It's fine. But I really like it. It was Blake's favorite show for years. And now, I don't know what his favorite show is. Blake is Morgan's best friend from Alabama. Yeah. If you're not familiar. It's good. It's, listen, it's a sad 
musical. Anyway, I really hope that there's a bootleg of the new one. But I don't know if there is. I haven't tried to find one. Anyway, and then on the way home, I listened to a playlist of Broadway songs. And so now my throat hurts a lot. And I'm really sleepy because I used all my energy. You know. You're also on new thyroid medication. Okay. Which takes some getting used to. I didn't know the hairstylist was allowed to talk at this salon. (laughs) I haven't seen anything from Rose. Here's the thing about Sodheim. Is he my favorite composer? Yes. Has he made some mistakes? (laughs) Did he write a whole musical where the title is a slur? Maybe. You know? Good for you, Myth. Have fun on your date. That's ooh. very exciting. Ooh. Everybody say ooh. Broadway playlist just hit different on Drives Alone. The best part is that, like, and I saw this, um, I follow a lot of, like, black musical theater folks, and one of them made a, a TikTok that was like, this is what it's like to be listening to a Broadway belting playlist. And it's, like, someone doing, like, She Used to Be Mine from um, Waitress, which is, like, a very sad, very, like, beautiful long like belty like ballad and then it was like that's my cigar you'll steal another from newsies <laughs> which is not quite the same energy <gasps> Marjoluna arts hello oh my god hi Marjoluna arts on wednesday you weren't here but i literally spent like 30 minutes on your uh Instagram, just talking about all the things that I want to buy. I literally put it in my planner yesterday that you're going to be at the expo. We actually separately did a a, a window shopping stream yesterday, and your site was featured as well. Yeah. Because the Caterpillar hat went on sale today. Yes. Uh, Don't tell me if it's sold out. I haven't looked. (laughs) I showed, I told Hannah when I was at her house when it went on sale. And then she said, just buy it. And I said, no, I'm going to be so brave. I don't need this Caterpillar hat. No, I love you. You would wear it. Not often. People are loving the caterpillar hat it's as they so should. Cute. It's so it, cute. It's a hat made of grass. It's immaculate. The reason I haven't bought it, what I told Hannah was I'm in my beret era. Yeah. And I was like, if it was a grass beret, then I would buy it. And then she was like, no, but you wear the bucket hats a lot in the summer. Because I've also made like two bucket hats and I do wear them a lot in the summer. But I don't know. Listen, I bet it'll be back in stock at some point. Yeah. We're doing, we're, oh, we're just doing fresh pink. I don't think I'll ever, I should make a grass beret. Listen. Oh, you would have Morgan in a heartbeat. I would buy 13 of them. <laughs> one for every, every all, all the days of two weeks minus one. <laughs> one day where I let my head breathe, I guess. <laughs> I'm in my beret era. I really need to find more berets. The other problem is like people hand felt them and so they're like $65, which is so fair. Well, the fucked up thing is I keep trying to find you real wool ones on Amazon so that I can hand felt you some because I know how to felt things. I think yeah. I can make you a really cute beret, but they're like $30. Yeah. Like wool's fucking without, expensive. Without a design on it yet. Yeah. Phoebe would still have to do it. A day of headrest. <laughs> <laughs> I make a grass bucket hat and make a bunch of insect bug pigs that you can attach to them and decorate. I know. So cute. Margeluna, we literally went on your site for like 30 minutes. I didn't know that you make pins that you can put on them. That's so cute. That's so cute. Anyway, yeah, y'all check out Margeluna Arts. As (laughs) if we've not talked about them enough. Kyle, I don't know if you were here on Wednesday, but their stuff is exactly. That's true. Very Kyle vibes. Your vibe, yeah. I am interested in this hat. (laughs) You should be. Here, pull it up on screen share. Oh, okay. Show the friends. Well, I have to scoot up. Okay. You can scoot up. Shuffle, shuffle. They're saying I should do that. I don't have a lot of pins right now. Oh, I got you. I got you. Okay, hold on. Let's do it. Bobby, come on. You have a couple pins, dinner. though. You have the... Um... We'll be so glad to see you. Is it on Etsy or is it your own no, website? I think it's... Or just search Marta Arts. I think they have a website also, but the Etsy, I think, is the one that comes up first. Yeah. Look. Oh, there's a hat. This is the hat. Isn't it so beautiful? If you though? haven't seen it. Please. Think about how cute that would be on my little head. It's so cute. This is the snail clip. I just put it on my store the other day. I bought the pink one, though. Yeah. Well, Peehee technically bought it. That's true. Well, I said I have to get my wife this because it's too cute. They said their website is mostly for pre-order stuff. Ah. The keyboard's so good. 
My favorite thing about Martin Luna Arts is their commitment to having their snails have their face on the lower part of their head. Yes. It's so cute. They made a TikTok that was like, people were like, are you ever going to make a, a snail, that's, a like snail right. that's accurate? And they were like, no. <laughs> How would I do that? I also really want this snail scarf. I have another scarf that I'm obsessed with too. But the problem is that um, I'm fat. And so I get hot so fast. <laughs> But look how cute this is. This one makes me think of those, um, the bad guy caterpillars in Mario a lot. Oh, it's so cute. This is Marshall, the mascot. Yes. He dresses up hunky in this one. He's very Isn't cute. Isn't it so cute? He's, Marshall's very cute. And then there's also a... Um, I'll uh, put it in chat for everyone. An outfit. There's like a, a mascot that they had made of him. Yes. It's very cute. There's also, they put up yesterday on their story. Let me go see on Instagram if it's still on their story. Of a cape that oh, they're okay. designing. Aww. Just like put it on just chatting for a second. Just there in case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just because Instagram's been fucking stressful to me. Go ahead, though. It's thinking. Oh, my so god. Where's my phone? I don't know, girly pop. Where is your phone? People are buying the scarf and the bucket hat together. They should. Yeah. I think fun. it's on the, it's right there. Bobby, come on over for dinner. We'll be so glad to see you. Anyway, so my plan for my 35th birthday is to bully everyone into watching company enough that they memorize a part. And then um, we'll all perform company for my birthday. So everyone has six years. <laughs> so get on that. I don't think it's on my story anymore, but it's on Twitter. Gonna be a blanket poncho. Go to Twitter. To Twitter. Hold on. Tweet it up. I deleted my Twitter. Don't make us a Twitter. Oh, good. No, we had one. I know, I know. I meant don't remake one. No. I don't think it'll let you look it up. Oh, okay. It will, yeah. Tweets are, are public. Are if free. you want them to be. Oh, <gasps> cute. Okay, hold on. This is the shop that's live. Let me find it. Go back. Okay, this is it. And I responded and oh said I would buy this. Stop it. Oh my god, no. I'm I'm 28. Isn't oh god, this yeah, so girl, cute? Girl fairy she. I'm 28, so it would be my 20 so we have my 29th, my 30th. Oh wait, so it's 7 years. Isn't this the cutest fucking thing you've ever seen? I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with it. I love it. I responded and said, uh, are you, this is amazing. Marshall's sleepy baby, sleepy baby version of Marshall. Obsessed. This would be so cute. Just a little guy. I want that. My favorite's when one of our artist friends joins and we go, should we just look at our friend? <laughs> Glad you're here. Now streams about you. Thanks for being content. <laughs> this is, so th this one's not Marshall uh, though. No, it's Marshall's friend. It's his, it's it's, his little cousin guy. I thought it was brother. Is it his brother? I think so. He's so cute. I love him. Anyway. Does it say? No. I was going to wait. I, I also maybe. love Sleepy Snares. Yes. Look. Snail with Moon. Sleepy Snail. Look how freaking cute. Yeah, everybody's also losing their minds about the little Hops Bakery stuff also. Yes. I also love all of the um, notepads and stickers. I just have so many. That I couldn't possibly buy it. head down, Milo. Hey, how am I supposed to shop with my head down? <laughs> you literally don't care about my shopping habit. Martelina also does Tell services, me. right? Is that on yeah, their Yeah, no, their it is services. Web, their, like, website website? They're related. I just don't know if I should make them brothers or cousins. Ah. Cousin brothers. That's fair. Yeah, I turned 29 this year. 29? Tell me this doesn't what? look exactly what? like this. What was that? It's from New Girl. Okay. They're brosens. You need those laying down glasses. You're right. Oh Wait, no, God. I need the, the opposite of that because they need to go up. Do you guys want to see my eye be fucked up? Oh, uh, hold on. Do, you your, see do your face up close so they can see. Morgan can do that thing that Pennywise does, but it's she's not doing it on purpose. Yeah, my eyes are just broken. Yeah, she has one eye. Do it harder. Tilt your head. Okay, look normal. Do it slow. And then tilt head down, down, down. Keep going down, down, down. See how he just yeets off to the side? <laughs> He starts up fine, and then he just, like, loses sight. And when she tries to do her eyes crossed, which we won't do because it hurts Morgan's eyes really bad, 
Can one be, more. It, this is what you one of them like. crosses and the other stays exactly perfectly straight, and it's the other eye. He gives up. Isn't that so funny? This is very cute. That's what you look like. Are they a garlic? I love them. That's you. Oh, they're a little fairy. I think this nurse is on here. Hold on. No, this nurse is on their website. Website. Hey, it's for pre-orders. I promise. I promise because when we went to their real website, everybody was like, "Snurse," and I was like, "I know." Oh, did y'all go yesterday? Yes. Just do, just do like dot com, because it's hard to. Oh, there you go. Snurse. Look at them. Only thirty. Excuse me, thirty-five dollars, which is a pretty good price. Very reasonably priced. You're going on which one? The Disney Magic. We've never been on the Magic. Exciting! It's the oh my god! It's the best vacation. We did the Fantasy and the Wonder. Yeah, we've been on Fantasy and Wonder. Snurs is on my side. Look. Snurs, 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 snurs. They're so fucking cute. What? Oh, it's my water. Oh my god! He's chirping. He's scared. I don't even carry a purse, but I need one. Oh my god, Marjolina, that's so Phoebe funny. pre-ordered me a purse. It's not a snurse. A different oh. purse, <laughs> to be clear. Well, uh, pull up that purse so people can see that one, because it is cool. That purse. It's a different vibe. It is. It's not as whimsical. By it is means. much less whimsical. The, the I have two vibes, and one of them absolutely goes with the snurse. Yes. But this one, oh shoot, who Pink makes it? clown is snurse. A snurse is a snail purse. Oh yes, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yes, yes, yes. Um, it's like, it's not, maybe Kate. Sorry we were just so confidently saying snurse. I just assumed everyone knew from the internet. Yeah. Thought everyone would just get it. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I'm being really brave. You're being so brave right now. Oh, that's it. Oh, the other one we looked at on stream was Clammy Heart, because they have really fun berets. They're like very clown Cory berets. Oh, cute. Yeah, show the class. This is the purse that I got for Christmas. It's not here yet because they're only pre-order. But if you don't know this, if you're new around here, <laughs> I have been diagnosed with a terrible illness called Thirstiest Girl in the World Disease. Mm -hmm. It's very serious. Um, I'm always thirsty. <laughs> All the time. <gasps> I want to make a Caterpillar fanny pack next. I'm sold. A Caterpillar pack? That's so cute. Anyway... It's this, but it can hold your, um, it's why you always got to have a fun little drink. Literally, man. I should be allowed to use my health savings card for my fun little drink because it's a health condition. <laughs> it should be. Okay. Anyway. You want to hinge little one? Please. Look, it's got a little secret pocket. It's got this little charm that says cute and hydrated. Thirstiest and sleepiest girl in the world disease. I know. I'm really brave. And also, depression. Triple threat. Yeah. Anyway, I got it in, Phoebe ordered it in yellow, and then made the mistake of saying, is that okay? Would Do you want another color? And I said, oh my god, I love yellow. And then they said, why? Can you change the color? And they said, no. And I said, oh, okay, then yeah, it's fine. And they said, why? What color would you have ordered? And I was like, oh, well, like, I'm in my lavender era, so I probably would have ordered lavender. But yellow's literally my favorite color, so that it's, it's great. That's fine. And then, like, three days later, Phoebe said, so I ordered you the lavender one, too. Happy Christmas. They'll both be here in, like, March. I have a disease. <laughs> well, they do have different versions. She just came out with one that has, um, for your Stanley Cup. It's got, like, a little thing right here. They also, they have bigger ones. I like when we just do stream for a week and it's just window shopping. Yeah. They have ones that have two compartments on the sides. We were also on. These are huge. Lucene, yeah. Oh, I love Lucene, yeah. They also have one with um, a little window to put pins in. Yeah. And they name them all like Ella, Iris, Holiday. They're all really cute. They also have a bunch of pins. I love it, but it's terrible for my unemployment status. Yeah, because if you went into the unemployment office with a cool fucking bag, they'd be like, mm, "We can't give you any money. <laughs> You're clearly already rich. Look at your if you look at your cool fucking bag." <laughs> so please don't buy this bag. Don't buy this nurse. They'll stop. They'll stop helping you. The government will show up at your house and take all your things. They'll say you're not allowed to have one nice thing. They'll be like, "You can't have any nice things." So, 
Exactly. <laughs> no cool shit. That's how they are. My new cup came in today, but I haven't washed it yet, so I'm not using it. It's just a giant white cup. That's fucked up. Literally had disability assistant works. You're literally right. Super fucked up. You're literally right, and I will fight everyone. Um, I'm trying to think if I have any other exciting things to say. Finish my book. I'm not giving a full review because it's a really gross book. But if you've read it, you are welcome to message me on Instagram. <laughs> we are going to put a review on... Uh, we are going to put a full review on, on YouTube. YouTube. I So I'm putting... I am putting stickers on my new cup, kind of. So what I got... Morgan, everything you say is exciting. Oh my god. <laughs> Savannah. <laughs> Stop. Anyway. Um... It's called The Troop by Nick Cutter. Disability assistance. Did you just sell $50 on a garage sale? You're rich. We're taking your assistance away. Fucked. Fucked and we'll fight them. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh. If you, it's The Troop by Nick Cutter. If you read it, you're welcome to message me on Instagram. Yeah. It's a gross book. It was super compelling, super interesting. I gave it four stars. And that's all I'll say. You can pay your rent. No more money. Boo. Everyone say boo to the government. Boo the government. Boo. boo. Oh my god, I don't remember who suggested it. I think it was maybe Sparrow. But um we started Lego Masters last night. Unrelated to it's a two week really wait. Good. We made the whole house start watching it. Yes. Incredibly and fun. And it is really interesting. <laughs> Incredibly fun. Hey, do you need something? No, no, no. I'm gonna process something. The kicker is I work for the government. No. Boo to the government. <laughs> it should be a shirt. Boo the government. Boo. I was gonna say something and then I forgot. It's okay. I just buy boats. For the government? How many boats do they need? They've never offered me one boat. <laughs> How dare they? How dare they? For the Coast Guard. I gotta wow. be honest, I didn't know they purchased them. You thought they built them? I thought they were the ones that built them. They guard the coast, they build the boat. I thought that was part of their little saying. We're the Coast Guard, we guard the coast, we build the boats. My best book recommendations? It depends on what you're looking for. Morgan only reads horror. So Hannah, I know. Hannah and I today were talking a so lot away from me, please. Uh, about books. And then Hannah was like, yeah, it's like sometimes I read a book and I'm like, it was a book and I liked it, but I would never recommend it to anyone. Because she was talking about It by Stephen King. And I was like, no, same. I would never recommend it to anyone. And then I was like, I think it's kind of like, um, I read Tender is the Flesh. Oh, my God. Last year. Morgan read the whole damn thing. Oh, so God. And I was like, and it was super interesting and super compelling. I would never tell anyone to read it. I would never say, you should read this. Like, it's not worth, even though it's interesting, it's not worth it for all the... Was it more gory than the truth? Than what I just read? Yes. Oh, absolutely. Really? Yes. Wow. That is actually kind of surprising. Well, I guess it makes sense. I guess it makes sense for a couple of reasons as soon as I yeah. say Yeah. The truth has a lot of things happen to animals. Tender as the flesh does not have things happen to animals. <laughs> That's for sure. I haven't read theme music. It's on my list. Theme music has, like, a super interesting, like, first two sentences that someone read on TikTok, and since then I'm always like, oh, my God, I have to read that. I, right now, have, like, I don't ever want to have more than ten physical books that I haven't read yet. Yeah, you're full right now. <laughs> hey, I actually only have eight right now, so I'm not full. Hmm. But the problem is that I see those folks on TikTok who are like, I have 350 books that I own that I haven't read yet. And I'm like, I don't want to. That's not allowed to be you. I don't want to be like that. I can't be like that and have like a child in the future, you know? If someone else reads it, I want to talk about it, but I will not tell someone to pick it up. Exactly. Yeah, I read for Tenders the Flesh. I read. See, you read the synopsis. I read like six different articles about it, and I cannot read that book. There's absolutely no way I would feel sick all the time. It was like, written by a woman. I that's think. true. It was also not written in English, which I think is really yeah, it's, it was written in Argentina originally. Um, it was published in Argentina originally from an Argentinian writer. Um, this is so silly of me to have to ask. I know it sounded like I farted, but it was this. It was not me. 
What language do they speak in Argentina? I think just Spanish. Is it Spanish? I mean, like, the way that Spanish works is, like, there's different, like... No, but it's not Portuguese? I don't, no, 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 I don't think so. Okay. I really should know. Sorry that I don't, but... I mean, I could be... Someone will correct us. That's true. Someone here lives in Argentina, right? One time Morgan said, you know, the country of Paris, so we're kind of just here. Yeah. Yeah, Spanish. Cool. Thank you. Um, no, Portuguese is only... Oh, yeah, because they talk about speaking Spanish in the book, right, baby? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Maybe that's why I know that in the back of my head. Anyway, um, I saw a TikTok talking about Tinder as the Flesh. I'm not going to really talk about what the book's about. If you would like to know, you're welcome to Google it. It, it makes a lot of people who are currently meat eaters become a vegan vegetarian. or vegetarian. So that is something to keep in mind about sort of like related to the content, but we won't talk about it other than that. Right. Um, I did see a TikTok of someone saying like, if you, they, they like read a lot about like the history of Argentina and like past leaders of Argentina and they said that that, like, affected how they thought about the book, um, like, in a, in a positive way. Like, they were like, it makes more sense that this person would write this. It's called Tender is the Flesh. And it is, it's a gross book. That's by far the grossest book I've ever read. Mm, I mean, it's, the grossest book is in, like, it was gory and things were implanted in my head. I would say. It's a dystopian future book. Yes, it sure is. And people are not eating animal meat anymore. They sure aren't. And that is kind of kind of the premise. Yeah. Um, the Troop was really good, but it was also, like, really gross. I'm thinking about reading Book Lovers next instead of um, Mary, just so I can kind of have a palate cleanser. Or should I read Twilight as a palate cleanser? Ooh. Could be fun. Um, I know literally everyone responded like I'm not exaggerating I probably had 40 responses of people saying that book lovers was really good they said it, it lived up to the highlight to the highlight to the hype is that everything no oh good listen Twilight's good I mean no it's not it's fun but it's good to me it's fun it's nostalgic What's your system here? Excuse me. It's literally none of your business. What do you mean, what's my system here? <laughs> it seems like you're just kind of poking my head. Yeah, so I can get the hair. How are your stress levels, Beeper? They were very high when we started. Were they? Are you asking me, or does the chat, can they tell? My parents are microbiologists. They will probably love the troop. Love is a strong word. <laughs> I would love to hear their opinions on it. Anytime I read a horror yeah. that is, like, loosely based in, like, something that, like, could potentially happen... And, like, I don't think the things that happen in the troop would hopefully actually happen, but they could potentially happen because it's, like, a, a parasite someone made in a lab. Hey, you're literally spoiling it. Yeah. <laughs> it would be what? It was, it's been wild to be in their family during COVID. Anyway, oh, that all that to say, no, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to spoil it. You're right. I mean, basically what I said is on the back of the book. So, like, it's not really a spoiler. That's true. But, um, anyway, thank you. Um, all that to say, anytime there's, like, 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 I would love to talk to someone who actually works in, um, microbiology. No, I was going to talk about Tender as the Flesh. Oh. Uh, who actually works in, like, the meat... Food production? Industry, yeah. To talk about Tender as the Flesh. Like meat packing? Yeah, I guess. Or, like, is it still called a farm when it's, like, only for... Like, I feel like farm is too gentle of a word. For what it is? For what it is. Butchers? Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Oh, I mean, we are going to make a YouTube video that's oh, literally yeah, oops yeah, spoilers. Yeah. So yeah, I will yeah. be talking about it. No, for sure factory farm i guess i don't know anyway or like i'm trying to think of any other books that i've read recently that like could technically happen like they weren't like paranormal e they were like dystopian oh my oh, god like oh go ahead sorry i just realized that tenders the flesh is chicken run but if the chickens were people no it's not yeah it is no it isn't <laughs> <laughs> you're right but a little bit though no it's people who like, people who raise the animal and butcher it. Like That's a slaughterhouse. True. Industrial farm is the closest. That's what they do on Chicken Run. 
They raise the animal and also they hurt Right, it's an actual farm. I'm not talking about that, baby. All right. I'm talking about people who, like, like work at, like, Tyson. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. That is farm to table. Yeah, this is farm to Walmart. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm hearing you. I haven't read Parable of the Sour. I did see a TikTok about Lolita last night. Oh, Hannah read that, actually. Really? Yes. I've never wanted to read it, but it was too, like, feminine presenting people. I think it's written by a woman, isn't it? I think so. I think that's what they said. I think it's trying to be, like, subversive. It's supposed... I don't know what that means. It's supposed to be, like, you're in this person's head, and that is the, like, psychological horror. Yeah. Is that you're in this terrible man's head. Sorry, yeah. It's not supposed to be that the man's doing something cute and fun. Yes. Yeah. Um, anyway, and they were, like, people who like it or think that, no, it's Vladimir Nabokov. Oh, was it written by him? Nabokov. Oh, no. It was not written by a woman. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, anyway, the the people on the TikTok I was watching was, like, people romanticize Lolita and they literally don't fucking get it. (laughs) It's gross. It's supposed to be gross. No, I think you're right. Anyway, but I've never heard anything that made me interested in reading it until this TikTok. Because they were like, I could write papers on how it's supposed to be, how it sh- was supposed to be interpreted. Which, you know, I love when people say that, but I do feel like only an author can be like, this is how it's supposed to be interpreted. However, I am also the kind of person who just likes to say that I make the truth now. So I get it. Um... Would love if people referred to the character as her actual name, which is Dolores, and not the made-up name her abuser gave her. Interesting. Yeah, I haven't read it at all. Um, but I don't want to be caught reading it. Isn't isn't it POV from an abuser? I have no idea. I read it in high school and then again as an adult. POV from abuser is the same concept as, like, you, the TV show, though, right? Like Yeah, like, secondary... I'm saying, like, you, it's unreliable narrator yeah. is scary. American Psycho. No, but that's why I didn't like A Certain Hunger. Yeah, that's true. It's one of those books where people take it too literally and think every protagonist is a hero. Exactly. I read it as part of an awkward books paper. No, exactly, Lunar Raccoons. And like I said, I've never read it. I've never read it. I'd never been interested in reading it until these girls were like, people just don't get it. And sometimes when someone says, like, people don't get this thing, I think maybe this will be the first time I'll ever be smart. (laughs) And I'll read it and I'll get it. You know? But movie people were like, Kopeach, you've nailed it. That's essentially what the people said in the TikTok, is they were like, people did not get this. The problem with a book club stream is it would just be oops all spoilers. I'm not switching over, baby. No, I'm playing smart in a lot of things, but I don't, when it comes to reading, I've said this several times, I don't, I'm not usually like, I don't really want a lot of metaphors or a lot, like I really want plot driven, interesting, fast paced. Can I hit this for a sec? Yeah. No, I guess not. Are we talking? Okay. Starting now. Cool. Um, if you read it and you were like, this character's right, I can relate. You should be put on a watch list. For the same reason I don't think Catch a Rye is a book for high school. I don't know anyone. I haven't read that one. I don't know. I don't know anyone who read it and liked it. And so when people are like, I really liked Catch in the Rye, I'm always like, okay. Y'all know that, that TikTok audio that's Kim Kardashian or one of the Kardashians? And she's like, who cares? You don't get an award for not watching TV. That's how I feel. <laughs> when people, and like, to be clear, we're all adults here. So Maybe if someone here sense. was like, I really like Catcher in the Rye for these reasons, I would be like, I appreciate you. And you were like, you know, we're grown and blah, blah, blah. But like, y'all know those people in high school who were like, yeah, I actually don't read Twilight. I read books written in 1850. And that, I'd be like, that okay. was me, but I was secretly reading Twilight. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't like The Great Gatsby. Oh, I really liked it. I don't remember liking it. I had a fun teacher. We talked a lot about, like, metaphors and, like, um, See what I mean, though? Themes. I don't want that. No, I know. But it was, like, an interesting conversation. I thought it was nice. I'm super curious what our kids will be reading. Yeah, I am curious as well. 
I have not seen a TikTok where people dog on people for not reading the classics. Mm-hmm. You couldn't pay me to go back in time when I was a pretentious little shit. <laughs> to be clear, I was at the midnight release of Breaking Dawn. I just wasn't posting that photo anywhere. As an English teacher, I would pretty much never read a canon book for fun. Yeah. You can do it more modern. Yeah. Yeah, I would love for kids to be, like, genuinely excited about reading. Yeah, that's all that matters. I hope our kids are reading Hunger Games. I hope our kids are reading Hunger Games and we have a significantly more socialist society. That would be immaculate vibes. They'd be like, this would be crazy. And you're like, wouldn't it be? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, Suzanne Collins is an excellent writer. She writes really compelling shit. I haven't read The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes or Snakes and Songbirds or whatever it's called yet. I need to. I was going to reread Hunger Games first. Oh. <gasps> But, like, her hello, shit's Shark fucking Dad. good. Hello, hello. I have a friend who adores Catching the Right and Twilight. Well-rounded. Did any of you guys have to read Mark Twain's Roughing It? No. Oh, my God. Did you know Phoebe didn't know Mark Twain's real name? Everyone, let's do a poll. Don't say his name. Duh, let's say let's... Don't say Mark Twain's real name if you know. Don't say it. Okay, well, it's too late. It's Where not is... too late. No one said it yet. Do you know Mark Twain's name? Yeah, I'm just going to say, yeah. People, people didn't know Updike either. What's up, Daddy? It is not Marcus Twain Twack, if that's what you were thinking. <laughs> I honestly can't think of a book that I was required to read before university that I enjoyed. I enjoyed Lord of the Flies only because I wrote a book about how I felt that the purpose of... I had like kind of a homophobic teacher, and I wrote in my... Y'all remember when you would like pick an absolutely unhinged like hill to die on like of an opinion of a book and then your teacher would be like you can say whatever you want as long as you back it up with like passages from the book that's what i did with lord of the flies and i was like these boys they're gay this is a story about how like if men were just allowed to be intimate both in a sexy way and like to be friends it's a it's a like fuck toxic masculinity book and my teacher who felt it was the opposite was like I guess you have a good point. And I was like, yeah. Thank you. I'm right. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, Alexa. It's a satire of British society. I know that I'm right. My teacher, not not right. A bitch. Yeah. Get him. I won't say his name. Get him. Um, big ones that you have to read in high school here. We've talked about this several times, actually. Yeah. 1984, Great Gatsby. No, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Here in Oregon? No, I meant here in the U.S. Oh, talk, speak for yourself. Talk about Alabama, because it is different. That's true. All of ours, we didn't, we didn't do a single one written after, I would say 1960-something. Oh, wow. But yeah, that's not true for us. All of our independent reading, most of it was things that were, like, slightly more modern. Because I think, like, The Handmaid's Tale was written in, like, 1980 or something. I could be wrong, actually. Let me... She's still alive, right? Yes. The author. It is at least written by a woman. I can't name a She's... single one Margaret we... whatever is not a good person. No, I know. I can't name a single one that we... Book. Margaret Atwood, 1985. Um, read that was by a woman. <laughs> I'm Seeper. Don't mind me. And I'm Feeper. And I'm Feeper. I enjoyed Moby Dick. Great Gatsby is like You a... read The Handmaid's Tale in high school? Thank you. Isn't that strange? Yes. No. What? No, sorry. It was an adva- I was in AP English in high school. So it was one of our like independent study books that we could choose from. The other options were the one we had to read as a class was Frankenstein, and I didn't. I just did the cliff notes. And I then you could do like Brave New World, you could do Fahrenheit 451. I loved Fahrenheit 1984. There's like a couple of other ones that were like the books that we had to read in AP English were um, we talked about how Heart of Darkness is racist. And then instead we read Chino Achebe's Things Fall Apart, which was like really, really, really good. Um, I liked it a lot. The main character is like very misogynistic. Um, so if that, ah, uh, we, we read, read The, the Giver. Giver. I we read The Giver in middle school. I think it was in middle school for us as well. We also had to read Night in, um, by mm-hmm. Elie Wiesel in I read sophomore it in year. Grade. We also had to read, uh, what's the one with Scout? And Atticus Finch. Oh, uh, Mockingbird. How to yes. Kill a Mockingbird. How to Kill a Mockingbird was one of the I read that one. Read. I liked that one, but I would say that I liked it 
mostly because I love everyone's name in that book. Yeah. That's what I remember the most, is every time I was introduced to a new character, I was like, what a cute name. I love like And a, that's actually not the purpose of the book, believe it or not. I love like a chaotic Beverly Cleary ass romp where like children are running around causing shenanigans. And I love the drama of a courtroom. So I at, you know, I really like 15 liked it. years old could Does not it hold up. No. Right. Could, at the time though, thought it was very innovative and could not have been emotionally prepared for the fact that we were gonna do like a court scene for the second like half of the book. I thought it was really fun that it like completely shifted gears. I'm so sorry, Veronica. If you have something that you're trying to say that's being weird, it's not. I'm not even seeing it. Maybe Automod's being spicy. Um. Yeah, I've never heard of Heart of Darkness. What? It's or really racist. Apart. Supposedly, Heart of Darkness is one that's like supposed to be on the Oregon. What's list it about? Books. What's it from? It's how old is it? It's a book that some man wrote after going to the continent of Africa. I don't remember specifically where. It's a long, long time ago, and it's him being like, "Yeah, because these people." It's really fucking racist. Basically, it's just him talking about his experience there. We read Animal Farm. We about the Congo. That's possible, but it's it's literally like was like one we talked about like the premise of it in a in a uh, powerpoint and then we read this other book instead which is about like a very intricate like family dynamic and like the dynamic of this tribe. did y'all read i think it's called hotel rwanda it's like a true story i, I think. did not read it's it. like also like i don't know why i didn't have to read it someone else did a report on it what's mark twain's real name oh samuel clemens I, they, that sounds like an author name already we were talking about um Oh, we were, no, we were watching Sister Wives, and they were doing a weird trivia thing. Fictionalized Journey into Africa discussing the native populace, among other things. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Um, and one of the questions was, what is Mark Twain's real name? And I said, oh, that's too easy. And Phoebe said, do you know his real name? And I said, yeah, how do you not know his real name? I had to watch Hotel Rwanda every year of high school. I love you I did so not watch much. Him. I love you so much. How did you not know what happened when you boiled an egg? That's true. Um, because of the trauma. Well, yeah, that's true. Hello. Um... I know his real name for two different reasons. Sure. Number one is he is Southern, right? And I'm Southern. That makes sense. And so they, they really be pushing it to us to know. Secondly, it's in American Adventure at Epcot. <laughs> okay, I like this one. I thought my daughter would like it. Amazing. I love that, Raylan. Happy Friday, Amanda Speaks. They love the Twain in Alabama. Oh, they really do. I I liked, um like, I saw a play of Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry <gasps> Finn. We were supposed to read Huckleberry Finn. Should we name our baby Huckleberry? He's no. a bad guy, but it's a cute name. We had to read it over the summer. And it's, listen, stop petitioning white men to stop saying slurs in books. I'm talking to you, Stephen King, who I'm certain is oh, watching so from his cozy little fucking coastal He's a home big in fan Maine. Of us. Hannah and I today talked about Stephen King, and I was like, here's the problem. Is Get it like, together, Stephen. He is the reason I got into horror books. There's, like, a lot of things from his stories that, like, I enjoyed. There are so many things I did not enjoy. Stephen. And I'm sure other people didn't enjoy either. Cute name, sad book. Listen. Yeah. Huckleberry is a cute name. And stop making teachers say it out loud, for real. Did y'all have... I had... I can only think of one teacher who was definitely the, like, white teacher who was like, now I'm going to say a word. And they, like, made a huge deal out of it. And then everyone else that I know just didn't say it. Love R.L. Stein. Have not read Goosebumps They were like, you've all time. heard this word and you all know what it is and you're all holding your own copy of the book. There's no reason for me to say it. And I was like, Thanks. Don't give, give edited versions thing. to kids. Yeah. Here's the other thing. Like, in Oregon especially, it's like – so few people of color are in Oregon in general. It's mostly white kids. You should not be giving a bunch of white kids, white children, a book that has slurs in it all over the place. That's not fucking appropriate. Listen, we're in Alabama. Y'all have eyes. Yeah. Listen. Oh my God. I just don't understand. Oh, another book that I, this is unrelated. Another book that I really liked. I love My teacher read it out loud when we were in elementary school. It was called like My Brother Sam. And I don't remember anything oh. about it to be clear. I just remember really liking it and being like, this is so interesting. My Brother Sam is dead. That seems right. Um, I think we had to read this as an independent one. And I told Phoebe the other day that like the only thing I remember about My Brother Sam is dead 
is like as the teacher's reading it out loud I like am like creating the tavern in my head you know what I mean because like it's like it's like a movie you get to direct in your head we all know that when you you know read a book and I still have dreams that take place in the tavern I invented when my teacher read this book out loud that's really specific it's so specific but that's all and I remember like every day being like are you gonna read from the book again today and she was like no we don't have time today and I was like well what the fuck is gonna happen and I hate to tell you all this his brother Sam dies at the end we're gonna play a game (laughs) it's called good cover bad cover oh yeah Hannah and I invented a game it's called good cover bad cover okay so this is a good cover that's a really good cover this is a bad cover I think it's a good cover for a play it's not, it would not make me want to read it in the fifth grade. That's a bad cover. Okay, you do one. It's easy to play Scroll as, down. As, a, as a bookstore. I feel like there's a good one there. You don't think so? Ooh. I want, yeah. I want Ooh. more ones. Hmm. Go ahead. Nothing? <sighs> Nothing's speaking to me. Really? Okay. Okay, like... This is a bad cover. Yeah. What's a good cover? I can't figure out what's wrong with it. I think this is I a good I think cover. almost there is a good cover. Yeah, that's a good cover. This is a good cover? Oh, it's sad. Farty Facts is good. That's really sad. This is actually, this is a good cover. This would have had me in the fifth grade easily. Yeah. This is a good cover. I'm into this. This is a bad cover. Yeah. This, this is a bad cover. Yeah. Hold on. Did y'all read the fucking Magic Treehouse books? You okay? Yeah, there's still a little sugar. Tummy hurting? More fantasy. These, most fantasy covers are not good. Y'all, fuck it up. These are all good covers. Every fucking one of them. Now, I if an adult book looked like this, it would be a bad cover. That's true, but these, fuck. These had me every fucking time. Magic Treehouse fucking slaps. They're so I good. I never read those. The Shadow Children, pull those up. Those are good covers. That's true. The Shadow Children series. I'm so sorry. Well, listen, I think, I feel like the Magic Tree House is more about being um, neurodivergent, but that's fine. The Shadow Children. I'm too old for Pixie Hollow books. This is exactly what mine looked like. Yes, and Among I, I the Hidden. I don't think that's a good cover. Margaret Peterson Haddock. Among the Betrayed. I fucking love What other stuff did Margaret Peterson have? I don't know. Does she write adult books? Oh, hey. No, I'm so sorry, Margaret. It is so nice to meet you and your big eyes. I meant, what (laughs) books did you write? Oh, my God. Okay, this book, this is literally the one that I was talking to you about the other day. When? This is the one... Oh my God, we were in the car. Hey, spoiler alerts for Running Out of Time, 1995. (laughs) But this book fucks. This is the one where the girly, I did not read Artemis Fowl. I'm so sorry. I know everybody else did. It was a book that boys were reading at the time and I was transgender and didn't want to talk to anybody about it. So I was like, I can't read a boy book. This book fucks. Running Out of Time, this girly is like living in this little like Amish town in like olden times. And then, oh, you were talking about this the other and day. And then she finds out that she's living in like essentially a place where they're, they've put people into uh, like Amish town colonial times. And she like fucking breaks out and then she's just in 1995 and has to like put jeans on. It was really good. It was really good. Among the Hidden is excellent. It fucked. Among the Hidden is so good. It is this is uh, 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 I can't Margaret? believe I didn't know it was her. Margaret, are you writing in, in type in adult books? Okay. Great. What am I? Peterson Haddock's adult books. Hmm. Someone else said that their reels aren't posting. That makes me feel a little better. Two thousand eight. I don't know. I think these are all, yeah. These seem to be YA. Mm. I think I read Double Identity. I definitely read Double Identity. And I feel I like I read that Found happens. also. Margaret Peterson Haddix and then also Peg Carrot. Carrot. I really fucked with. Oh my god, she's so cute. She's so cute. She writes like suspense scary books. But for children. Yes. Yeah, I remember Stolen Children, I think. Yeah, there's one. <laughs> Not the year I got polio. No. I think oh I read a too. Oh, my God. Too. Peg. Okay. Well, 
books. I want her to be my grandma. Uh, to Tamara Pierce. This one I think I read. Earthquake Terror. Really good. Really good. Hey, Sisters Long Ago is a bad cover. Where? Right next to where your mouse is on the right. Yeah, that's a bad cover. Mm. Yeah, Fox is good. Fox is obviously good. Oh, yeah, sorry. I didn't read the ugly series. Phoebe did. <gasps> really good. Really good. Really good. I didn't like extras as much. Is that the last one? Hold on. Scott Westerfeld. It's a man? Yeah. He actually did a good job. He wrote a female main character. He did a great job. Not what you would expect. Oh, my God. That's so scary. This that's is the, the one I'm used to. That's the new one. I saw it at Powell's the other day when we were looking for a mom and the children. That section. honestly makes more sense for, like, what it's about, but I don't like it. Yeah, I have no idea what it's about. Really? Yeah, I never read it. It is extra. I just assumed it was about mean girls bullying each other. What? No. So I never read it. It's a post. It's a dystopian society. Oh, my God. I was very, like, attached to this premise as a child. Well, when should you I turn... read it? You yeah. to ruin it? Oh, well, it's I, it won't ruin it. Okay, go ahead. I, I think it's really interesting. You turn 15 years old, or you turn 16, and then, no, and then you get um, full body plastic surgery. I love it. And so you get to, like, you don't design it, but, like, people make, like, these, like, fake avatars. Morgan wrote the Crank series. Yeah, we talked about I read them it a lot. Well. It's super fucking interesting, and they are, like, lived, they live, like, separately. So, like, they're called, like, the pretties when they, like, it's, like, they're, like, different, like, ranks of person, basically. Really super fucking interesting listen and also i feel like very powerful to read as a young person the crank series which by the way we're not allowed to talk about substances on twitch no. so it's as far as anyone is concerned in chat the crank series is about a girl who loves to hand crank things okay just like this i have asked you casey we were talking about uglies they're oh. good Anyway, and they are so good. There was no reason for me to be reading that at 14, no. 13, 12 years old. No, Somehow no. that's worse. She loves cranking out watches. Hey, you're scaring me. I'm scared by that. Han's thinking about rereading Uglies because they're making a, I think it's a Hulu show. They've been talking about making one for a long, long time. She loves rotary machinery. They're fucking A girl good. who hand churns so butter. So I read, oh my god, that's so funny. I read Uglies, Pretties, Specials, Extras. So I read, I think, all of them except for these weird little, like, offshoots that he's got. I didn't read Ooh. these guys. Ooh. Finally an analog girly. It's so good. I read the first and second Wicked book, and I remember fucking loving it. How old it. were you? Uh, too young, for sure. How old? 13 or 14? Oh my god, that book is very sexually explicit in the beginning. It is. Incredibly. Is it the beginning? The beginning? Yes. No, the beginning is her... Being conceived. No. Yeah. No, it's not. The very beginning of the book Okay. is her, she's like a toddler, and she's green. And her first word that she says is horror. I remember it all the time. Okay, whatever. It's possible that I read the first, like, two chapters, but I got to the part where she's being conceived, and it was a lot. Yeah. I remember being, like, That's actually 14. not even the worst part. I was, like, 12 years old, 13 years old, There's, and I was, like... I, mute it. This is not for me. Okay, hold... Well, here, let me make sure it mutes. And I was like 14, <laughs> maybe less than that. My mom was like, you love the musical. And I was like, good point. This is probably fine. Oh my God. <laughs> I read the second one. There's more than that though, but I want to, I want to buy them and read them again. Oh my God. If you've read the book, you probably know what I said. But yeah. Is it like...
God. Oh, my fucking God. Yeah. Oh, my God. I guess let me Google it to make sure. It could be the second one where that happened. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's just so much. That's just too fucking much. It is, it is volume two. I take it back. Oh my God. Oh my God. I tried to read Little Women. In, uh, okay. Is that all, is that backslash positive? Yeah. Oh my god. It's a lot. All right. It's a lot, but I remember liking it. But you know, I was going through, you know, some similar things, some might say. So Not similar to that. Not similar to that part. I can the see why I they didn't reading. put that in the musical. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, little women. Oh my god. How little were they? <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke from friends. I didn't make that up. Stop! <laughs> Stop stealing jokes from friends. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're talking shit about the sequel to Wicked. Yeah, the books. But Scott, the books. I do think I am going to buy them again because I think they look nice on my shelf. And I, I remember really liking them. I would cheat on an AR test by guessing the plots to books. Oh, I did that as a kid. That is not giving neurotypical. I love that for you. Gotta get those fucking points. Yeah, baby. good for you. Get them. Wicked Lovely by Melissa Marr. No. Um, listen, everyone deserves to be a, a Disney Cruise girly. Yeah. I'm going to get another water. Oh, okay. The water's empty. Good luck. Right. Oh, I'm also going to get a meat sticks today. Hold on. This isn't a secret. I'm just talking to our uh, computer. You have six minutes and 30 seconds. No, but I can go longer. Time. No, that's true. Are you just going to have it like that for all stream? Oh, okay. You're going to leave me here? Well, I don't know. Well, Let me eat a snack. Um, well, what snack are you getting? Meat sticks. Boo. Can you bring me a little handful of Cheez-Its? Oh, my God. I'll bring you the box. Okay. I wish you loved me. <laughs> Can you get a good grade in air? Something that is both reasonable to want and possible to achieve. Listen. Listen. AR tests, it was a whole thing. It was a whole fucking thing. <laughs> Jacqueline Wilson? I don't know. Let me Google who that is. Oh. Jacqueline Wilson. Wilson. Books. Hey, there's not very many left. No, I don't think I did. I don't think I did, but these are really cute covers. It's giving like American Girl books. I mean, not the real American Girl books, which also were incredible, but the Aww. pamphlets. Thanks, Sarah Strawberry. Thanks, Sarah Strawberry. They're British specific. Oh, are they dark? They were dark. What? Are they really? <laughs> now that you say that, I'm a little I mean, perturbed yeah, by one, Buried Alive. I was going to say, one's called Buried Alive. <laughs> It's not on the Google Images. Yes? Oh, no. Oh, no. Interesting. A cat she mummifies? Hey, not to be a bitch, but she shouldn't make them look like this if that's the <laughs> case. Hey. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's a lot going on there. Gets haunted by her dead best friend who tries to make her die too. I Whoa. love American Horror Story. That's pretty serious. Wilson. Oh, she's gay? The writer? <laughs> Not to imply she never was before. Hmm. You want personal life. Yeah. 
And her partner's Trish. Oh, cute. Good for her. Hmm. Oh, Fear Street books were fun. I liked those. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I read that I really probably shouldn't have read. Go ask Alice. Oh, yeah. No one should read that. It's not a good book. I, I loved it. I was like, this is my favorite book. But it's because it was really compelling. Similar I to horror now, where people are like, people will be like, is the book you read good? And I'm like, couldn't put it down. I was in the fifth grade. Is it good? And Go Ask Alice was removed from my presence. My teacher took it away from me. She said, you can't read that. Who gave you this? Then I said, my friend Megan. It's her copy. The doll people fucks. Did you read Coraline? Absolutely. We read I it as a it. book in the fourth grade, I think. Third third or fourth grade. Thanks, so. Dad. It's like a charcuterie board. That was smart. The bluest eyes scared me. Oh my god, pull up the bluest of this eye. That sounds familiar. Oh no. Uh, did you need something? How's my phone? What's it about? I'm scared. Oh no. Oh no. That sounds stressful and sad. That does sound stressful and sad. Behind the attic wall? I don't think I don't think we read that one. We we did read The Giver in middle school. Oh, there's a sequel, right? There's a couple of books. Lois Lowry, talented girly. About all the books after Go Ask Alice, and I think I'm on the third one now. What? That's so many. Yeah, it's a series. Google it. Not really just a series. I found that out the other day, too, when we were talking about books. The Hatchet we talked about last night. <laughs> hatchet was fucking good. Anonymous Diary Collection, yeah. They're not real, though. No. None of those are anonymous diaries. That woman wrote them all. For real. How the fuck? Oh, this is the one I had. Yeah, this is the one I had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Only five dollars on thrift books. Hey, that's on me. No, they know what you meant. It's not the hatchet. I promise it's just hatchet. It should be the hatchet. I swear it's just hatchet, unless we're talking about a different book. Hatchet is good. I just did. There's like a winter one also. Oh, is it really? Yeah. It wasn't as good. I also don't know what the fucking premise of it was. Is there a movie? My favorite thing about loving books is as there? a kid is there's so many where also the cover on be like, oh my god, I love this book. And I won't remember anything that happened in it. What? Oh man, it came out in 2006. Yo. Yo, I know what we're watching tonight. Yo. Um, Hatchet, Gary Paulson sequel. There's three is what someone said. Yeah, Brian's Hunt. I read this one. I did not read The River. Brian's Winter I read also. Blah, blah, blah. Hey, stop going into the woods, little guy. No, literally. Brian, don't do that, baby. Spoilers for Hatchet, I guess. And that is like right at the beginning. My Side of the Mountain. Someone help Brian. Yeah, for real. Someone get Brian, like, a hobby. Mm hmm You know? Spoilers for the winter one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, not to be a bitch, but does his plane crash every time? That's how he ends up there? His plane crashed the first time. Get this man a Nintendo Switch. Oh, I got up to get water and I didn't even do it. <laughs> Switch. Please, get him a, just even a, a Monopoly board or something. You don't want Ocean Water? Yeah, they're still in the, in the wagon, though. The wagon? They haven't put the foot away. They haven't put the foot away? I have some Cheez-Its. Get they some at? from the box. Yeah, hand the box to me. Box Cheez-Its. My box it's. Brian, take the train. We read a book about kids who were stranded in a cabin because their dad died and they killed a bear. Oh my god. Maybe this is why I hate going outside. Because of these books. Mm. 
We read... I think we did read The Doll People when I was a kid, but I don't remember anything about it. Oh. It's like Toy Story, but better. There's like four left. Do you want them? There you go. They're very nice of you. Mm -hmm. We are, again. We're talking about books we read in school. Again. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. We just talk about how we don't know where anything is. <laughs> and books that we read a long time ago. Yep. You yeah. know how some... You have these two. Sometimes you read fiction, you were like, I could do that. I did that with Hatchet. AVI, no, what is that? I could not do that. I'd die immediately. Gene Little? I looked at the blue dolphins. Ah. Oh, oh my God, pull that one up. That one's really good. Oh my god, I loved Island of the Blue Dolphins. Really good. There was also, um, it was called like Esperanza, I think. I could tell you exactly. Esperanza's really good. Exactly what the cover looked like. It was so good. Esperanza Rising. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I can't remember what happened in that at I don't all. either. I just remember loving it. And I remember being like, oh, this is going to be so stupid. Because it was like a book we had to read. And then, like, it got me really quickly. And I remember being like, I have to pretend I don't like this book because my school's making me read it. Wow, you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were definitely an immigrant family. Because uh, Esperanza means hope, right? I don't know. I do not know. The cover is ingrained in my brain. Mm -hmm. There was also A River Flows Through Us or The River Flows Through Us or something like that. That one wasn't one of mine. Or Between Us. I never had to read where the red flag flog. Where the red flare flog. <laughs> <laughs> I had to read that one. That one's a fucking bummer. Don't read it. We flowered a chokehold on me. Ugh. I had perks of being a wallflower. I never what? saw the movie. Still, you had to read perks of being a wallflower. I read it. I don't remember if it was one I had to read. I'm sure it wasn't. It's traumatic. I don't remember anything about <gasps> we it. We had to read Bridge to Terabithia. I didn't have to read that. You should not fucking have to. I know the movie has Dakota Fanning in it. You should not fucking have to. Did you see the movie? No. Don't. Because it's fucking sad. We were all sobbing. Don't make fourth graders fucking cry. Oh my God. In theaters? Did y'all read Narnia? No. E my mom read Narnia to us. We read the first one, I think, in school. No. I loved Tuck Everlasting. You read the book, The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, or you read the first Narnia book? The I don't remember. Okay, probably The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, because that's like the third or oh, well, second or third one. Oh my god, that's so sad, Grey Ambitions. That's why you Google the shit out of things you're taking your kids to. Because that is just, that is hard. Narnia had a chokehold on our family. I, we, I definitely either like had someone read me the first book or read it. And then I went and saw the first movie, and then I haven't seen any of the ones after that. And they made, like, four of them, right? They did Prince Caspian. I think they did do four, because I feel like we've talked about this on stream, and I didn't believe them. We had to make our own movie about it. We had to make our own Romeo and Juliet in school. That's awful. Why? Why would you have to do that? Oh, just, like, a 15-minute version of it. It was pretty funny. It was, like, everyone right. did comedy. All right. Because they did like, oh, we're a Coke family. And they'll be like, we're a Pepsi family. Oh, that's funny, actually. Yeah. I didn't realize that was the... The one that me and my partner did... Tuck after La Everlasting. Um, out. was he was a spy and I was a girl who couldn't keep a secret. <laughs> <laughs> that's still you. Thank you. <laughs> so, oh I thought that was pretty gosh. funny. <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. I don't think I read The Secret of Nim. Um, I didn't read oh Secret God. of Nim. I read Despero the Mouse. I feel like Bridge to Terabithia is a book that you should, like, read to your child if they experience loss in their life. I think that that might be something that's really helpful to, like, hear about something who's going through something similar to you. I do not fucking think that it should have been as big of a cultural movement as it was because it's so sad. It's Dude, because Dakota Fanning's so freaking cute. How could you not go see every movie she They shouldn't make a movie of it, though. They shouldn't. 
They should not. Series of Unfortunate Events, really good. The movie, really good. I didn't ever watch the TV show, but we that series had a chokehold on my family. My mom read those. I saw the first there. like episode. Um, of the Neil Patrick Harris show. Uh, the movie with Jim Carrey, though, I. I think it is Anna Sophia Rob. I don't think it's Dakota Fanning. Wait, what? Yeah. Yep. Oh my God. Is this girl? I've never seen her. Did you watch Bridget Terabithia? No. It is Josh Hutcherson. That's so funny. He's a baby. He's so young. He's the babiest baby. You see, a blonde, every blonde girl is Dakota Fanning, actually. Tell me I'm wrong. Wait. Is she in the movie Hoot? What is. Oh! Carl Hyacin's really good, too. Hoot's really good. I didn't watch the movie. Oh, is that who wrote it? The book's good. How yeah. do you know no celebrities' names? And you know all of these authors that you haven't read in 15 years. I don't know. <laughs> How do you remember the name of the person who wrote Hoot? He did a nice job. <laughs> I got it for Christmas. She's the Because of Winn-Dixie girly. I did have to read Because of Winn-Dixie. I'm not wrong. It is Carl Hyacin. We don't get to choose what we remember. Thank you. He did He did a couple of is books. Is she in Hoot? Look it up. I think it is her. Hyacinth? Hyacinth. Hyacinth. He did all of them. Were about Flush was the other one I read that was really good. Hoot is the only one and I read. And Scat. Hoot. Movie. That's just another blonde girl. That's Yeah, that's a completely different that's blonde That's a girl. blonde girl. Oh, I did watch Cody this movie. From Cody from what? I think his name's Cody. Oh my god, it's one of the, the brothers. Oh, it is. It's a brother. When Dixie we read, Marley and me, they made us read for no good fucking reason. This is set in Florida. Hoot is what made me want to go to Florida. It's Oh, it's super Florida. Yeah. Oh, Logan Lerman. Who's this boy? I know him. I think his name's Cody. This is literally Brie Larson. Oh, it is! Oh my god, that's Brie Larson. Cody Lindley. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I did. Yeah. <laughs> I knew his name. Lailing. Yeah, Jimmy Buffett is Mr. Ryan. All right. Good for Jimmy Buffett. Cody was he in was Hannah, in Hannah Montana? Montana, yeah. All right. You're too young for Hannah Montana, though, right? Like, it was, it had a chokehold on me. No. Uh-uh. What year was Hannah Montana? You were just the eldest daughter because Bo was really into Hannah Montana and I had to pretend that I wasn't into Hannah Montana. I fucking love Hannah Montana. Bo was into a lot of things that because I was the big sister, obviously, past tense. I'm not too young for Hannah Montana. Jimmy I'm 26. Jimmy from my brother and brother and me. Did you say my brother and brother and me? My brother. Yeah. <laughs> say it again. My brother. No. <laughs> No. Say Phoebe. it again. No, sometimes Phoebe is too young. Not that they couldn't have seen it, but like that they weren't into it yet. That my they brother, right. my brother, and me. I was twenty one. I was into Hannah Montana. It was good. <laughs> oh my god. A book called Star Girl. Oh my god. Oh, Star Girl fucked. <laughs> my brother. No. <laughs> Star Girl was really good. Oh, no. Who no, is no, that? no, 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 no. Oh, I've no, seen no. that cover, though, the blue one. Yeah, the blue one's the one. Yes. Now, what I don't like is when they. There's no words on that. You know what I mean? Just that person's name. What? I would Star never, Girl. No, but I would. I don't like that. Oh, I love it. That's not words. For me. I haven't seen the movie. Has anyone seen the movie? I was too scared to watch. Was it scary? Is it a scary book? I remember really liking it. Was it like traumatic? Perks of being a wallflower. It didn't oh change my, my personality. I read it. It's stressful. I don't remember how old I was when I read it. Uh, not scary. Oh, scared because you might love it or hate it. I see what you're saying. I think it, yeah, I think it is about her being quirky. I think she like randomly like looks up in the, um, like she like she looks up obituaries to like deliver flowers to people. 
It is. A, she's a, not like other girls. Yeah. Well, she's a star girl. She has a rat. Oh. I had rats. That's what it says. Okay. Um, interesting. Am I mm, Laura Halsey Anderson? Let me Google. Laura Halsey Anderson. It's just Halls. Oh, no. Halls. Books. Uh, no, I've never seen these. I don't think so. Oh, maybe Speak. Speak looks familiar to me. That does look familiar, but like barely. Yeah. This is fun. Yeah. That's a good cover. I wouldn't say it's a good cover. Oh. I would say Ashes is a good cover. I think that's interesting. Okay. Speak is so sad. Did y'all have to read a child called it? Did you did you had to? You had to? We were supposed to. And I didn't. I I was in high school. Oh, okay. I read it in middle school because I got a hold of it. Because we were reading stressful books for fun as children. It was really sad. Do not read it. I will never read it. It's horrible. We it's, had to read Yellow Fever twice. I don't think I know what Yellow Fever is. It's one of these books, I think. Flowers for Algernon. <gasps> Sad. Yeah. Is that a whole book? I really thought it was a short oh, story. Oh, I, I really went through... I did too. I really went through a Mitch album phase, so I was reading, like, The Five People You Meet in Heaven. Five More People You Meet in Heaven. Um, Tuesdays with Maury. Tuesdays with Maury was the first oh, one. Oh, they made us read that. I had to read that one, and then I read all of his books. And then there was one that came out that was, like, new that I bought the day it came out. Hmm. The only book I ever went to, like, a release of was Breaking Dawn, though. And even then, I didn't really go to the, like, midnight release. I was just there when they actually opened at 8 a.m. That's so funny. Fever 1793. I don't know. And a BS freshman class. <laughs> Probably a little too. It's something that would change my brain after that. Yeah. Oh, my so bad. Stressy. Big stressy. Yeah. They should not make children read them. The Left Behind series? Uh, yeah. I didn't know there were books. I only saw the videos. Unless these are different. Oh, no. What's it about? Everyone share a little lamb. Yeah. Dealing with Christian dispensalists and times. Ah! Oh my god. We watched Left Behind videos. There was also Left Behind for kids. Ah! Hey, not to be a bitch, but if they want people to be Christians, stop being so scary. <laughs> okay? Left Behind was the Hunger Games, but for the evangelical church. Stop. Oh my god. Oh, Excited about everyone's wins. My god. My little win is that I'm almost done with my water bottle. I don't have to read books that I don't like or are too stressful. It's really nice to Me be Me at like, the Bible. You know what? I don't have to finish this. This is true. Um, are people trying those? And I haven't bought them to be clear. But there's like a viral like Ollie gummy that people are buying at TikTok that's like a focus gummy. And people are like, is this cocaine is this adhd medicine is this what is it because people say they're taking it and they can accomplish other tasks it's probably a placebo is it cbd i don't know what it is googie it uh, listen ollie focus gummy i don't trust this no but we buy their melatonin Laser focus. Hmm. Get in the zone. What's in it? Four grams of sugar. For two gummies? 
That's a lot. No, it's not. For two gummies? Yeah, they're made out of sugar. Hey, do you know what a gummy is? No. This seems stressful. Is it just a vitamin B? Oh, is ginseng the thing that they put in in energy drinks? I don't know. It sounds like a good way to get your B6 and B12 vitamins. Ginseng is in Red Bull. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's giving not FDA approved. Oh my God. Hey, um, Veronica, I'm so sorry. I read squinting is squirting. <laughs> I was so scared. That is scary. <laughs> so deeply scared it is giving not fda approved <laughs> veronica I'm i so haven't sorry. bought them but people people on my for you page at least people are like have you guys tried these they're so good listen are they are they fake ads is that why oh i don't think so you know the people are using like the voice filter <laughs> oh my god i'm so sorry veronica oh my god if you need the vitamin it's good for you yeah that's how it sounds <laughs> oh my god oh no oh that's what i'm no. worried about um he looks so tired someone said it doesn't look like they're working interesting it's no, probably it mostly placebo i mean if it, if i feel like a placebo is the best case scenario actually like, because then you're just taking something that's just a little vitamin. How, how like, much are like, regular vitamin B, uh, 6 and B12 gummies? Like, what's a similarly? These are $30, and it's for... Hello? Okay, but it is cute. It is really cute. If you can placebo yourself just No, for it. real. <clears throat> Have you guys seen... Um, Only B6. Thirty dollars. How many guys are in it? Oh, I'm oh not none, none guys. Boo. Oh, we need iron supplements. Yeah. Um. For women. Yeah. Vegan liquid iron. Liquid iron. Liquid iron. I forgot what I was saying. I thought this was me for a second. That's literally not what you look like. Hold on. Where's that fella? I, this chubby redhead, I thought I was, I just got jump scared by a picture of myself. Is this guy. Whoa, they're trashing the camp. Evidence. <laughs> what the fuck Quality is this? rooted in science. Are these real scientists? <laughs> Why are they trashing the camp? Did they hire the Epcot trash can boys they for that? They did. <laughs> oh my god, my name is Phoebe. My pronouns are they them. <laughs> my name is Morgan. My pronouns are she, her. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, my doctor said that I need more vitamin. Yeah, my doctor said I need more vitamin. <laughs> Thanks for being here. <laughs> I meant iron. Yeah. My doctor said I need more iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god. Flower, I don't know if it's your first day around here, but I have about 800 million cups of water a day. Flower's been here. Some flower's been here. Aren't fat soluble can cause issues if you take too many at once. Makes sense. Well, some people always say don't take such and such on an empty stomach, but I've got a strong fucking stomach. What just happened? I forgot that I could curse. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a strong fucking stomach. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that I'm an adult and I can do what I want. Oh my god. I will say I make everybody uh, eat a vitamin D um, with food. It's about your kidney and liver function, not your tongue. No, but people say like, oh, like... Like my probiotic, they're like, if you take it with food, you'll otherwise you'll be nauseous if you take it on an empty stomach. Right, they're saying that because also it'll hurt your stomach lining, and also your liver and kidney function no, have to I'm process strong. that out. Did y'all? Hey, I've got plenty of fat to solubilize, so that's not how that works. It is. No, it's not. Oh my, so good. 
<laughs> Throwback to when Seven fired me earlier on stream. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've been slacking. It's only fair. You know me. Thank you. I'm a scientist. I literally, look at me. I look like a scientist. You look like a silly little girly with freckles on her nose is how you look. Just to be clear. Science. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's time for science. That's true. I guess it was Mira who fired me. Yeah. Disappointed Mira. Mira, well. Mira said. He's busy. He's ashamed to be a girl. (laughs) Oh my. So fucking God. Listen. That's true. Such as Albert Einstein and also my wife. Yeah, and that duck. And that duck. Two trusted <gasps> scientists. They're all scientists. My wife. My wife, the duck, Albert Einstein. What do they have in common? Fun hair scientists. Yeah. That's their whole deal. Sorry. Oh, man. My little crime is that I have to pee so bad right now, but I feel like we're going to be done with stream in the next, like, ten minutes. I don't want to leave. Same. Yeah. It's a disease. That's how it is. It's a little disease we have. Mm, my little crime is... I still don't know what we're having for dinner. I'm sad. Okay, well, aren't you gonna, aren't we making pasta and you're having pesto on it? I remembered. <laughs> Great news. I wish we had bread. I'm sad again. I will piss. I'll be right back. Oh, my. So bad. Do you want me to make bread tonight? It takes six yeah. hours to make it bread. It takes two hours to make bread. That's so long. It is 4.41 here. We have dinner. We have old people dinner because um, we get up at 7 a.m. So we go to sleep. At, we're in bed at like 9. What takes 24 hours? No, I shake my name. Um, it takes six hours. If they make it in the oven, it does take like six hours. They have a bread machine, though, so that can make it in two hours, but it's not as good as when they make it slow. I can make bread, and we can have post-dinner bread. That way you have it for your pasta leftovers. I love that. Are you sure everyone your wooden bear? I did. That's why she's over here. That is why. A little smush from pot pie. A little smush from pot pie. So sweet. No. Oh, my God, no. I don't do bleaching. That's not a beeper job. That's a job for Hannah. So this morning, Morgan was at Hannah's house getting her little roots bleached. No, listen. I love that mushroom. Do it. Oh, no. No, owl sad. We will play more games, Fuck Yeah Chicken Strips, I promise. We just keep on getting more interaction with just chatting streams. And honestly, they're easier to do when we have other shit that we have uh, going on, such as needing to dye Morgan's hair. Um, We will be playing Beep of the Wild tomorrow. Tomorrow, Saturday, Breath of the Wild stream, I promise. We will be playing it. And then Morgan is in a Stardew Valley vibe, so we actually almost played that today. And then we decided we would do two birds, one stone, because otherwise it was going to take me like an hour and a half to bleach her hair after stream. It is Saturday. I'm not, I, Beeper is not a bleach per, thank you. So true, bestie. So true. We love that. We love it. Absolutely. fucking Oh, no. That'd be wild. We do have preset stream times. We do sometimes cancel them. Um, oh, hey. Thanks, Seven. Amazing. Oh my God. Sav, I'm telling you. That's the thing about Stardew Valley. If you don't like it at first, you've got to play it for like a whole season to be like, oh, okay. I understand like what I'm capable of doing and like what I could. My hands look really nice. Just a little bit of bleach. I love fishing, but that's fair. Right now it is 444. Uh, and in our time, streams on Thursday are me by myself, one, two, four. Thursday, Friday, they are three to five. Saturday, they're nine to 12. 
Something like that. Realistically, sometimes more like 11. Nothing on Sunday. More extremes Monday through Wednesday. 7 to... Like 12. Like 12-ish, depending. Depending. Listen. Oh my god. Ooblitz is fun. Ooblitz is very fun. Phoebe became super into Ooblitz. I have to get back into it. I had a really nice time. It was fun. Did you know I'll be on screen? No, you didn't want to move. No, no, no. I'm moving. You got your little, your little peaky head over. No, 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 no. But I'm a completionist. I'm technically running a, like, perfect run of Stardew, but it's already, I think I'm already too late. What do you mean? I think I, I'm already, I don't have enough things and it's like day 17. What? You can take a long time to do it. The perfect run is not the speed run of Stardew. No, I guess it's true. Like the completionist run. Like you're not speed running it, right? I haven't played in like a week. Oh, I mean. So. We, we have to play Beep the Wild tomorrow. Yeah. The people are requesting the video games. Yeah. Valid. I know. It's because lately we've been getting way more interaction on just chatting. Yeah. And I was like, I love to chat. Sawi. Me, that's, I never showed up. That's also why we were exclusively Animal Crossing New Horizons streamers for a hot minute. And now we're like really burnt out on that. Morgan also does uh, Dreamlight Valley and also like weird indie horror games sometimes. Yeah. We've just kind of been in like a funky. That's true, Seven. That's stressful. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, Toadie. We're glad. I appreciate y'all. Oh my god, it is Seven. Well, maybe I'll get back into it. Maybe that'll be my next hyperfixation. I've heard really good things about Hades. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People just say really good things about Hades. Appreciate y'all. There's a second one coming out, I think. The thing that's really funny about... Your hands are so big. I know. About Twitch is that um, most of our viewership, when it's folks coming from other platforms, I feel like it's a lot of people who aren't already on Twitch... And so they would rather, like, have us just be chatting than playing a video game. Until they learn that when we're playing the video game, we're still chatting. Yeah. It's not that we're just playing the video game, not talking to you, you can't see us. We don't do that. That's no fun. Some people do that, which is fine. Oh, my God. I forgot about Morgan doing the voices. Yeah, I'm an actor. Mm. <sighs> if it's something I've already hyper-focused on, Toadie, then a little bit. I, listen... I think you can choose your hyperfixation. I think you can give, I think you can put something in a position to catch you in one. Yes. Because like sister wise. I feel like once you know yourself well enough, like what, like to get me into something is I have to know just enough about it that are like some tiny highlights where I want some questions answered. Yeah. Sunflower, we can title it that way. What the we category can't be that. Yes. That's the, the annoying thing. Which is annoying. Yeah, absolutely, friends. Yeah. That's fair, Seven. Oh, my God. Skylar, I love that. <laughs> we love Canva. I really wish they would pay us, but I would keep using it even if they didn't. People who are, like, actual designers, I think, don't like Canva because I guess there are better, more expensive, fancier programs out there. I think they like it for what it does, but which exactly is like, make me a really cute little If you company. aren't a designer, Canva is a great option for you. I agree, Seven. Um, our current hyperfixation is Sister Wives mm -hmm. and ongoing horror content. I was going to say, I'm really into reading. We're really right into now. reading right now. I just got into audiobooks. I have a little Tamagotchi that I'm running. Yeah, we love to see it. But yeah. <laughs> I love that modern moonlight. That's so cute. Listen, I love watching kids learn in real time. They're learning. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Girl Fieri. New podcast, probably not this week, probably next week, depending yeah. on how quickly we finish uh, Sister Wives. Yeah. I mean, we could do one on Megan. We could. Because we saw Megan. We also could theater. watch the menu and do it on that. No? It doesn't look that interesting to me. Have you not had it on your For You page at all? Not really. I feel like it looks really interesting. No, Skin and Marinka is super on my. Oh, we can watch that. For You page. I don't know anything about that. And then there's like one called like. Kyle loved um, it. Bye. Kyle says, I'll watch it with you. It's not called Vitality. Oh, my God. But something like that. Kyle, that could be really cute because you're going to be here. So you could be on the podcast also. The next podcast, 
will probably be Sister Wives Part 2, but again, we have to like get completely caught up on Sister yeah. Wives for that to happen. Okay, we're going to hop off, but we will see you all, darlings, tomorrow, tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Yeah. Playing Beep the Wild. Easy peasy. Thanks. Goodbye. Have a good day. Goodbye.